Good morning. Welcome to CADEX TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. Today is Monday, May 4th, 2015. This is a bank holiday in the United Kingdom. If you wish to follow us on Twitter, go to CADEX TV. The annual Warren Buffett Fest out in Omaha, the uh, Woodstock for Capitalists, was this weekend. And Warren Buffett, who of course is the chairman of Berkshire Hathaway, made some news in so far as reinsurance goes. He said he expects a slump in reinsurance results in the coming decade as new investors enter the market. Buffett said it's a business whose prospects have turned for the worse and there's not much we can do about it. He said the reinsurance industry in the next 10 years will not be as good as it has been in the last 30. Hedge funds are setting up offshore reinsurers to gain tax advantages, underwriting only a small amount of business as a, quote, facade, Buffett said. Competition has driven down prices while low interest rates pressure bond portfolios. Buffett went on to say that Berkshire is still in a strong position in the reinsurance business because of its ability to take on large risks. Here's interesting news. About 150 American workers are killed on the job every day. This is according to a report by the AFL-CIO, the largest alliance of American labor unions. The deadliest state is North Dakota, where uh, 56 people were killed on the job in 2013 alone. Um, workplace deaths are not always caused by accidents. According to the report, workplace violence is the second leading cause of job fatalities in the U.S., and was responsible for about 773 workers' deaths in 2013, as well as about 27,000 injuries. Partner Rees Board has made a momentous decision. They have risked the ire of their shareholders by continuing to recommend a quote-unquote merger with Axis Capital on the basis of an enhanced offer from Axis. This now values partner at about $125.58 a share, which is still about $4.40 below the $130 share valuation by the Agnelli firm Exor. Partner says that uh, their extensive discussions with Exor indicated that Exor was not willing to adjust its price. Why Exor would adjust its price when it's already $4.40 above the Axis price is beyond me, but that's what the partner chairman said. He went on to say that uh, we continue to believe that the amalgamation with Axis Capital will create value for our shareholders well in excess of the proposal made by Exor and will give shareholders the opportunity to be part of a world-class specialty insurance and reinsurance franchise. Uh, this is going to surprise some observers who believe that an all-paper deal, i.e. the Axis deal, uh, was inferior to compete with the Agnelli all-cash deal. It's also believed that the Agnellis may have an additional $3 to $7 per share left that they could uh, bid in the event they wanted to pursue partner. Costa Rica has issued an emergency alert after a ship carrying 180 tons of ammonium nitrate sank off the country's Pacific coast. Massive amounts of the chemical have now been released into the ocean. Uh, the government has urged people to avoid swimming at beaches and suspend fishing uh, near the uh, port of Punta Arenas, about 40 miles west of the capital. Ammonia nitrate is often used in the manufacture of fertilizers and explosives and can be dangerous if it comes into direct contact with people, not to mention fish. The uh, bill is beginning to trickle in from the Baltimore civil disturbances. Um, it's uh, important to keep in mind that a number of the businesses have been insured uh, under uh, primary commercial uh, BOP insurance. Uh, but there now is, uh, are some figures coming in. 200 businesses were damaged, and we've already noted that about 144 cars were torched. Uh, the standard business property insurance is going to cover losses arising out of a riot or civil commotion. Uh, business owners typically have to purchase a separate rider, uh, however, uh, to cover destruction of plate glass windows. Um, the area in the inner harbor section, which was uh, hurt worse by the curfew, uh, which meant that by 10 p.m. Uh, the city was essentially in a lockdown uh, with its proliferation of restaurants. Observers are saying that that area is going to lose millions of dollars in business and eruption uh, claims. Um, thus far, State Farm and others have said only a very small number of claims have been uh, received 
However, uh, officials are predicting that uh, insurers are going to step up and pay any file claims. Uh, one observer says for an insurance company, this is their opportunity to shine. If they want to keep this customer, they're going to make sure that if the event is covered, then they are paid the proper amount. Uh, yesterday morning, there was a light earthquake in Los Angeles. It occurred about 4 o'clock in the morning local time. It was a 3.8 quake. Um, it was felt over a wide area of the Los Angeles basin. It occurred in the View Park, Windsor Hills section. Uh, the same area had been hit by a 3.5 quake on April 12th. Um, so uh, that's a little bit of a commotion going on there in just uh, two weeks or so. That's the news for today. When Britain gets back to work tomorrow, we'll have more news. The election in the UK is uh, this, th this Thursday, actually, so everybody's going to be watching that. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.